Okay, we're back for part two. Um, hopefully you watched part one to get yourselves this far. For my students, part two, here we go. Well, one thing I want you to know how to do is to name and add sheets. So right down here, I'm gonna click this down arrow next to sheet one. We're gonna rename it. Let's see, uh, I called this uh, advanced functions. Okay, press enter. Another little neat thing you can do is add a color. So whatever you like, I'm just use a little, I don't know if you can see that little blue bar down there. Give it a try. Uh, so you click the arrow, change color, and just pick a color. Maybe let's see if red pops up a little bit more. Yeah, you can see a faint red line down there. All right, next thing is hit our plus button. We've now added a new sheet. You might think, oh, where'd everything go? It's Well, it's right here. Just click on advanced functions. But we're now on sheet two. And on sheet two, we're gonna rename that. And that's gonna be called sales price and tip calculator. This would be neat to actually carry with you on your phone and be able to pop this open. And you're gonna be able to figure out how much uh, something is on sale for and also how much to leave that server for a tip after you finished a nice meal. All right, so here we go. How about on A1 and B1, we merge those cells. Uh, put my little blue color I've been using here and call that sale, whoops, <laughs> sale price. I'm seeing that I'm going to need to reformat everything, so let's go through that quickly. Clicking up here, uh, I think I was using Architect's Daughter. Uh, I think I was using a size 12. Let's make it bold, and let's center everything. I was a little fast, sorry. Uh, so how about we put original price? Uh, just maybe use a dollar sign there, the original price. And then... <clears throat> we want to find out our percent savings right there um, and let's do percent savings of maybe 10 percent 20 percent let's see if google realizes what i'm doing here i'm going to highlight both of those and let's see if this can be dragged down click on the box in the bottom right corner 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 Hey, yep, it did it, perfect. I'm also noticing percent savings is getting cut off, so let's make these cells a little bit wider. So I click on all cells, get in between the A and the B, and drag that out a bit. There we go, everything fits nicely now. All right, so next thing, how about we make, gosh, how about we make these like a light red? A light red. And how about we make all this or, you know, maybe we could do the whole thing. Make all of these like a light green. Perfect. But let's also put some border boxes around the whole thing. Um, I think we'll just do black. And that's fine. So here we go. Lovely. All right, great. Um, all right, so we've got all those in. Let's just make up some price, something that cost, I don't know, uh, Gosh, um, something cost $95 and, um, I don't know, uh, 49 cents. There we go. Oh, did I put a percent sign in? I meant to make that a dollar sign. So let's back that up and enter my dollar sign. There we go. All righty. Oh, I'm sorry. We forgot right here. This on the left was percent savings, and now here's going to be our sale price. There we go. So all these are gonna be how much uh, this $95 thing is on sale for. So uh, the way we go, so we need some formulas here. Now, um, so this is gonna equal, now let's see, what is, where's our price in? The original price is in B2, there we go. Okay, now if something is 10% off, that means you still have to pay 90%. So times, and you use the asterisk for times, um, 90%. There we go. So what's 90% of $95.49? Well, $85.94. So bam, if something's 10% off and that was the original price, that's how much it's gonna be on sale for. Pretty neat trick, right? All right, unfortunately this, I've tried this before, you can't just click the box and drag it down, it won't realize what you're doing. So we have to keep entering these manually. But the formula is very similar the whole way down. So once again, it's equals B2, I'm just gonna type it this time times, and uh, this time, okay, if it's 20% off, that means you still have to pay 80%. All 
right, press enter, bam. Okay, and just bear with me and, and go ahead and, and type these in with me. So equals B2 times, if it's 30% off, I have to pay 70%. Uh, equals B2, this time times, if it's 40% off, I have to pay 60%. Great, great, that price is coming down. Equals B2 times, okay, this time if it's 50% off, oh, I have to pay the other 50%. So what's 50%? Well, it's $47.75. At least round it off to the nearest penny it is. Equals B2, see how it's always the same thing? Times, okay, if it's 60% off, then I have to still pay 40%. Whoops, 40%. And equals B2 times, if it's 70% off, I still have to pay 30%. Uh, equals B2 times, if it's 80% off, I still have to pay 20%. And finally, equals B2 times, if it's not, if something is 90% off, well, it's almost 100% off, right? So if, if it's 90% off, then I only have to pay 10% of the original price. There we go. So that's great. Now watch this. No matter what you change this first number to, um, let's say uh, uh, $127.99. Now, nothing changed down here yet until I press enter. Now, watch how all the other numbers change. Bam. And now we have our instantaneous new prices. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Well, what if it was like 45% uh, off? How am I going to know? It doesn't tell me exactly. No, that's true. I just didn't want this video to take forever. So uh, you'd have to figure out, well, it's going to be about halfway in between these two. It'd be somewhere less than 76, but more than 64. So, you know, somewhere around $70, you know. So that you, at least you can get really close. But most sales I've seen usually end with zeros. But yeah, if you have something that ends in a different percent, like 55%, 25%, you'd have to go in between the two. Or you could take the spreadsheet and expand it more and do all the in-between amounts. But I just thought that was a lot of typing. Okay, the next thing is gonna be a tip calculator. Okay, so for the tip calculator, I actually wanna merge and center three cells here. Yep, you can do that. So this is our tip calculator. Let's uh, just do a, a fill of blue here. <laughs> I meant to hit blue. There we go. All right, so uh, this is gonna be the bill. So how much was the bill? I wanna merge and merge these two cells. There we go, and that's gonna be how whatever our bill costs. How about the bill was, uh, uh, I don't know, $42 and 50 cent, 55 cents, there we go. All right. Um, let's say that this is the tip percent that we're going to do. And now I, I just picked several common percentages you might that are frequently used. I looked this up on another website of frequent percent tips uh, that you should leave for different types of services. Uh, so 15 percent. And you can do that too. Just do a Google search on um, appropriate percentages to leave or to give to someone who's provided a service for you. And these all popped up, there we go, and 25%. All right, so those are some common ones. Let's turn this into a full table. There we go. So I'm going to click all cells. All righty. How about uh, we put these in that light red? And uh, right here is going to be the tip amount. And this is going to be the total bill. All right, let's uh, let's make all of this green. Okay, so the tip amount. So now we have to actually get those correct percentages in. So, uh, so here, this is in. I know we put E and F two together, but you want to just put in the first of the two cells. That's the one you would use in the formula. So right here, it's equals um, right here. E2, there's the 4255, times, times 10%. So there's 10% of that. Again, equals uh, B2. I'm sorry, yeah, is that B2? No, it's E2, my bad. E2 times, in this case, it's 15%. All right, so there's a 15% tip. 
now an 18% tip equals E2. See, now we're repeating ourselves. Times, and this is 18%. And equals E2 times 20%. And equals E2 times 25%. Love to get into uh, what each of these percents are used for, but for now, uh, let's just uh, move on and just worry about the formulas. But you can look that up and see, you'll see these numbers pop up too as you do some searching. All right, so the total bill, the total bill is going to be the bill, right, and the tip put together. So here's how much the total bill is going to cost. All we have to do is add these two numbers. So that would equal, um, well, this number plus this number. Bam. So it's a total of 4681. Again, equals the bill plus the tip. Enter. Again, equals the bill plus this tip right here. And equals the bill plus, whoops, two plus signs, the tip of 20%, and that's going to equal that. And finally, equals the bill plus the tip. And there we go. All right. Hey, guys, well, thank you uh, for joining me again. Hopefully on this one, not only is it a great assignment to, to do and learn how to use Google Sheets for Mr. Zigner, but also you might want to keep this one because this would be a quick, easy thing to pop up at a store, maybe on your cell phone, type in the price of something and find out how much it's on sale for, or when you're at the restaurant and you can put in the price of the bill, see how much you should be leaving for a tip. Uh, let's say you left 20% and then what the total amount of the bill should end up being. So wonderful tools. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks for joining me, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.